That 17 year old male shooter started uh, with the gunshots even before the bells rang here at school and the governor today in Maryland saying that rather than call for a pause to this activism, he hopes it will further embolden the calls for gun and school safety. Just days before a national march demanding action on gun violence and school safety, there are reports of a school shooting at a Maryland high school. You don't expect this because we just had a walkout just a week ago about gun violence. The school put out a statement about the shooting on its website saying the school is on lockdown and the event is contained. A male student produced a handgun and fired around uh, wounding a female student and another male student in a hallway of Great Mills High School just before classes begun. Great Mills High, where the incident occurred, has about 1,600 students and is located in Southern Maryland, about 60 miles south of Washington, D.C. The county sheriff said deputies are on the scene, as well as federal agents. Officials are telling parents or guardians to stay away and to plan on reuniting with Great Mills students at another local school. I got a call from my 15-year-old son that goes to Great Mills High School, and he said, Mom, come and get me. Somebody just got shot. And my heart dropped. Students inside the school described the scene on Twitter. There was a loud sound and everyone started running and reacting with disbelief. You never think it will be your school, but it is. Why us? This latest school shooting comes little over a month after 17 students and staff were killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. That shooting has sparked a nationwide discussion over gun control and making students safer. One of the student activists from Parkland tweeted to Great Mills students, we are here for you, students of Great Mills. Together we can stop this from ever happening again. And just last week, just like the students there in the Los Angeles area, students here at Great Mills High School staged their own protest and walkouts to call for greater school safety. Today they find themselves face to face, though, with their own tragedy.